Hey friends. Today we're taking a look at the new Beach Please summer collection from Rihanna. I was surprised at myself I didn't go crazy at Sephora. I just picked up the Kilowatt Foil Freestyle Highlighting Duo and the Summer Nice Iridescent Lip Luminizer Trio. Not bad, I was good. I'll tell you a story about how I almost purchased all three duo highlighters. I'll take you through the Fenty phase, we'll try on the highlighters, we'll try on the lip luminizers, we'll do swatches as well. If you guys want to see a little bit of what I purchased from the Beach Please collection, then please keep on watching. As always, let's clip this hair back. I'm not sure if you know, but I'm a huge product knowledge whore. I love learning about the concept behind the brand, behind the products, the why behind products the colors they chose, the finishes they chose. I fell upon a video on YouTube. It is from the Fenty Beauty channel. Apparently there was a masterclass that several beauty bloggers were invited to. The footage was beautiful, the whole layout, they had the benches and the vanity set up with the new, the whole Beach Please collection. And the masterclass was being hosted by Priscilla Ono and Hector Espinal, the global makeup artist for Fenty Beauty. They had three models on stage and each model basically displayed each highlighting duo. Now let's rewind a little bit. Rihanna gave us a glimpse of her highlighting foils at the Met Gala, where she sported this just beautiful blush brackets of color. They hugged around her eye and they also it also went onto her cheekbone. And in the master class, Priscilla and Hector were saying that this is Rihanna's way to highlight because Rihanna loves to wear her highlight right here, not here, right here. I'll be open to that. I like the whole, uh, blush look that takes you from forehead to cheekbone. It's fine. I played with that a couple of times. It could be a lot. And again, Rihanna is Rihanna. She was on the red carpet. It could take on a very avant-garde look, editorial, high fashion. I think it's a little too high fashion even for my industry. We'll see. Back to the masterclass. Sorry, I'm jumping around. Hector applied the Mint Mojito duo with this really beautiful uh, light, green finish with a rose gold high shine foil. The way he applied it, and I'll show you how he did it. I was like, oh, that's really nice. And this was already after I purchased the Sangria Sunset and the Mimosa Sunrise because I thought this was a better color scheme for my skin tone. I didn't even know how to use the Mint Mojito and the other duo because there were highlighters, but I thought they were so icy that they would just look textured on my skin. And then I saw it on this model and thought, oh, maybe that could work on me? The next model, beautiful, cheekbones up to Mount Everest. Hector applied the purple highlighting duo on her skin. And again, it looked really beautiful. It just had this purple wash of color. He used it to contour, he said. I don't and then he used a lighter lavender highlighter just to hit the tops of the cheekbones and to enhance the deeper purple shade. Again, I was intrigued. I was in it and went to Sephora later that day, picked up the other two highlighter duos and just kind of walked around in the store with them in hand, not really deciding if I wanted to buy them or not, thinking, well, Hector and Priscilla made it look so easy and beautiful on those girls and then i said i'm not that skin tone and there's another video where priscilla practiced on a model who maybe is two or three shades deeper than me show the the pink and the orange the mint and the purple shades all looked beautiful on her but again i feel because i'm in that lighter tan spectrum right now because i'm not super tan I just can't pull that off. And I tried it in store. I should have taken a picture, but I just, I felt like I was creeping around too much to begin with. Here are what the shades look like on my arm swatched. Creamy, hypermetallic is the term they like to use. I tried it on too. I disinfected the brush. I took all the steps to making sure I'm not gonna catch anything from the Sephora testers. I just didn't like how it looked on my skin. I'm not totally smooth here, and with those shades and that texture, I feel if maybe I was attending a festival, a party, an event that is more appropriate to wear 
a colored highlighter. If I were to change it up and be adventurous, I would just use one of my eyeshadows to create that look. Something that I wouldn't do every day. And for opportunities, again, mentioned when the colorful highlighters are fun to wear to, then I'll just use whatever shades that I have to mimic that effect. I'll link all the videos down below so you can see them at full length if you'd like. Again, I think it's fun just to see these uh, product videos because it all is marketing. When the consumer sees how products are being used, why they're being used, and why they were developed, I feel it just makes them more inclined to research further or just buy the product. Good game plan, can't lie. I thought to keep within the all Fenty fashion that we just go in with the Fenty face. Let's start with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer. I do have a full review of these products on my channel. Be sure to leave those links below. Oh, I think I put too much. Ah, oh, you should know a little while. Okay. Okay. The whole thing about the Fenty face is that they are redefining radiance. Not start from a dewy canvas, but a soft matte canvas and building the light from there. Which I get because, you know, they were saying Rihanna's from Barbados and because she is from that climate, she wants her makeup to be long wear and to fight against the humidity and not break apart. Which is the reasoning behind the formula for the, uh, the liquid foundation. Initially, I purchased 37, no, 360, which was the more olive undertone, but then I also picked up the 330, which is yellow. I get it, the point of releasing 40 shades is so that you find the one shade that matches you. But I don't know, I feel like I still need to look into that because I could find a shade that's these shades together, but I just, I'm gonna mix these suckers up using the full-bodied brush. I actually like this brush a lot because it's super dense and I feel it works the product into the skin very well. The thing is you got to be careful with this foundation because if you apply too much I feel it could dry down to a strange texture on the skin because one day I went in really heavy and when it dried down I was like oh ugh. it kind of sat on my skin and that's why I feel this is I like the brush because it works the product into it well. I feel like I look a little orange because again, I don't think I found the right shade. Taking water from Matchsticks, this is in the shade Walnut. What I haven't been doing is warming it on to the back of my hand, which they encourage to do, especially if you're applying this to the under eye area because this can be very drying and if you don't want that, uh, dry look under the eyes then it's recommended that you warm it up on the back of your hand first. I'm putting a little more coverage onto my blemishes here. Tackling that. I'm sorry you guys, you were so far away, forgive me! Now I'm taking wheat, warming that up. I'm gonna apply that under my eye because I don't know, why not I guess. I'm taking a smaller brush for more precise application. But I thought wheat was a nice under eye color for me that it was reasonably brightening and not nuts. Do that. This is a Luxie 233, by the way. I also run this over my lids and around the nostril. Apparently the Fenty Face also uses the Invisimat Translucent Blotting Powder. I do not have that, but I'm still going to powder. I picked up a small sample of the Dermablend Translucent Powder from Macy's. I'm going to use this to set my under eye area as well as the rest of my face. Taking my damp sponge a little bit and just under my eye. Oh, that's nice. That melted really nicely into the skin. Oh, snap! I'm just pouring some in my hand so I could hit it with... Oh! And it just plopped out. It's very soft. It's a very soft powder I, because it's so micronized. It, it almost feels, reminds me of like powdered sugar. Okay, I think we took away some of the stickiness. I want to go in with this highlighter, man. They did not start with any eyeshadow. They just had the Fenty face, the brows, of course, 
Let's get into this kilowatt foil. Ooh, here's the box. Beautiful box. I mean, I don't even, it's like on the box, it looks like crushed rose gold foil. And the texture that created, that's the pattern is on the box. With this metallic duochrome finish. This again is in Mimosa Sunrise and Sangria Sunset. These retail for $36 each. The difference between this one and the original highlighting formula is that these are more metallic. And Rihanna designed these to not only be used on your face, your cheekbones, but everywhere else. Still comes in the octagon shaped compact. And here we go. Let's open her up. Beautiful duo with the hot pink and tangerine. I thought this is great for me. The other colors, again, they are beautiful. I feel they just would not serve me well. I'm not on the budget just to have them to have them, so. The other product she released is their Island Bling 2-in-1 Liquid Eye? Liquid Eye Shimmer that comes with a metallic shimmer shadow and a iridescent glitter topper. I tried that also. It is very glittery. If I had it for free, I would totally use it and find something to do with it. <sighs> if I wanted to create like that beachy eye with the bronze, I have plenty of bronze as you know. They heavily use the cheek hugging brush. I mean, they just slapped it on there. So that's what we're gonna do too. Taking both shades, and this is what I remember seeing. First they did this. Oh my God. And then they brought it in. And they really just pounded on here. What do you think, friends? My problem is that it definitely highlights the texture of my skin. I'm going in with the tangerine shade and I'm hitting that on my cheeks. Okay, let's do it again on this side. Oh my god, it's so tense. Although the claims are that this is cream to powder and uh the hybrid allows for a smoother application. I don't know, man. I think I put on too much on this side. Oh, I forgot to do my eyes. Hold on. Got to do the eyes. Run that over with the, the tip of the brush. Do I look like Rihanna? <gasps> exactly. Priscilla Ono also used the Ginger Binge and Moscow, Mo Moscow Mule. Uh, I guess I'm going to do that here to the inner corner. She also mixed it with the Mimosa Sunset. What side are you? The sat, the san, the Sangria Sunset. Like right under the eye and brought it up. I need a little more blending going on on my forehead. It doesn't really look that seamless. I also purchased the Summer Nights Iridescent Lip Luminizer Trio which I was pleasantly surprised with. At first with these iridescent uh, blue-green purple shades, I thought, I but they actually looked really nice. I'll do some swatches. First one, uh, stuck. This one is in snakeskin. And wouldn't you believe that this formula is creamier than their Gloss Balm, which Gloss Balm is probably one of my most favorite lip gloss formulas. When it wears off, it doesn't leave the lips feeling dry or cracked. It leaves the lips feeling very soft. And this is even creamier than that. Karimi. See, I think this is pretty fun. With this, probably it's a lot going on. But I thought this was a really cool uh, take on a summer lip. Doesn't have to be your typical pink or peach. That the, the color change and the duochrome effect, I think, has a really nice touch. Next, we have mermaid thighs. I was really surprised that I like this color. It's a fun color! I really like it. I mean, right now with this um, situation, but on its own with the makeup that I had on that day when I tried it in store, because it looks, it looks blue, but it shifts purple. I think it's really cool. I like it. I like the set and the texture is amazing. I mean, the, 
one of the creamiest lip glosses I have ever tried. It's really nice. The other lip luminizing duo comes with like the mint green, a really beautiful magenta, and another color. I tried the magenta, but because the display was all out of order, I thought the magenta shade came in this set, but it comes in the other set. I'll think about it because these lip formulas are incredible. Maybe I'll consider getting the second trio. This is in the shade Vey Cray. My apologies for not showing the details, but the top is this beautiful, I mean, this is like a true rose gold shade metal. Ah. This definitely has more glitter in it. I still don't feel the glitter though. It's still very smooth. Definitely the more user friendly out of the three. Great for no makeup day, if you just need a little punch of shine on the lip. It does show up very metallic on the lips. Ooh. This is why I didn't buy the other highlighting duos. Because I'm not Rihanna. I can't look high fashion and avant-garde. I get it, she wants people to play and to not uh, go by the rules when it comes to makeup. Like who says highlighter needs to just be applied to your cheekbones? I totally understand. This though, this is a lot, even for me. If I stepped out of my house like this, I wouldn't get the reaction Rihanna would receive. You know what I would get? What's that on your face? Do you have a rash? As much as I would have liked to look like this, or this, or this, I will use these foils the way that will serve my face. I'm going to revisit this look again because I feel something is here. We haven't nailed it yet. I will use a different foundation. I would apply this at a different step. I wouldn't powder down first because again, even though these are beautiful powders, here are the powders. They're gorgeous shades. The texture is really nice. They're creamy. You can work them into the skin. You can buff them in. I feel like the way they applied them in the masterclass, they just kind of layered it on, layered it on. And from that far, I feel you really couldn't see what was going on on their faces. Second model with the light skin tone, her skin looked like butter. And again, Rihanna's skin is also like butter. And when you apply these textures on skin that's already like butter, it's gonna look phenomenal. I'm dealing with a little bit of skin texture issues as well as blemish issues and I'm not in an ideal place to showcase these highlighters the way Rihanna would like them to be showcased. I will still work with it. I will still wear them. For instance, here, let's play with this. How about I just apply Sangria Sunset to my crease? How about that? I think it's buffing in very well. The color is showing up very well. Very smooth. Like, I could get down with this. I could even, let's see, take a smaller brush with the mimosa under the eye. I think that's pretty too. Let's have even more fun. I'm gonna wet the mimosa shade. See what that brings out. That's nice, see? I could, I could do this. This, I could do. Again, these are highlighters, but I'm applying them to my eyeballs. I feel like I'm being very adventurous with that step, don't you think? Let's try applying the Sangria shade with the finger. Oh, that's gorgeous. See? I love it. These powders are very nice. They are definitely high metallic, or as they like to describe them, hyper metallic. Just for fun, I'm taking another finger with the Mimosa shade to the inner portion to create that, you guessed it, Sunset look. Oh, we got a little crazy. Hold on. Hold on. I think I want to take a little bit of Ginger Binge with the same Luxie brush and just run it over the edge of the Mimosa shade, or excuse me, Sangria shade. I'm taking the glit more glittery side and hitting that on the inner portion of my eye. The cheek hugging brush, I'm taking the tangerine shade, I'm just lightly putting a little more color onto my cheeks. Because here we are. On a set, I feel this will help melt the powders into my skin a little more and kind of leave a 
a more luminized finish. That's better. Rihanna did have mascara. I could, I could at least get the mascara on here. Oh, I got some of that mimosa on my contact. Thank God, Jesus. I don't think Rihanna had falsies on either. I could confirm that, which I feel added to the look. Definitely because this was the star of the show. All right, what do we think? Maybe should we, should we apply a more fun lip luminizer? I'm gonna do mermaid thighs. I'm gonna go all the way. Are we done? Let's release the hair. Here we are with our beach please look. Again, if I was going to like a party, if I had a costume, maybe I could pull this off. But right now, when I'm going to teach class, I don't know. It's kind of pushing even my own boundaries. Maybe if I slayed the camera. what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come back on here on another day. I wanted to get this in because Beach Please just released. If you were thinking about buying any of these products and seeing how they looked, how they performed, this video is for you. I'll come back on here and use these products my way. I understand Rihanna has her own highlighting technique. It is a technique that I will not be using. Maybe on another day. Again, when this will be more appropriate for. Right now, today, when I have to teach a uh, flexibility demo, not too sure how that's gonna fly. I would just like it on a different place on my face. Oh, but wait, but wait, but wait! Guys, I applied the highlighting duo on my lid and I took my, I finally got the Smashbox brush, the buildable cheek brush, which I think is perfect for applying this formula on the face. It buffed out the bow shades very well. It gave me a little bit of flush, but it doesn't look heavy or textured on the skin. I did it! Okay, back to the original video, bye! The lip glosses are bomb. I think you should definitely look into the lip trios. They are $32 each. Unfortunately, they are not sold individually in this collection. I love the Summer Nights which is the one I have because I love the blue. I can have fun with the lip trios. I get where she was going with this because initially, again, I didn't think this was gonna work out on my skin, on my face. It's fun, I like it. All right, I think that's a wrap, friends. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Click notification bells. Ring-a-ding-a-ding. -a -ding. Until next time, I'll see you on here again with another try-on, get ready with me, a demo, review, swatch, blah, 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 blah. Take care, and I'll see you again soon.